Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, I like to make some fun, educational, and teaching moments for moms, parents, or couples. So we have some fun around here. If you are new, please subscribe. But today we are going to be talking about breastfeeding. So I do only have one child and I've only been breastfeeding for seven months, but I feel like I did learn and have some knowledge and tips and tricks because that's all I've been doing is strictly breastfeeding. So I just want to be a source to anyone that's looking into this or needing more information about it because I feel like I wish I would have known more and watched videos and that's basically why I'm doing this is just to help you guys. So let's get started. <music> first I want to talk about a good latch for you and your baby so how I found my latch was actually rubbing my nipple across her lip and that would make her mouth open really wide so I can fit it in there and get her to actually know that she's eating and know how to latch on so at first it was a little hard because she was a preemie so the nurses in the NICU did say that it tends to be a bit harder for them to get the sucking motion and latch on so it was a little bit difficult at the beginning but as two weeks went on she actually got that chomping motion that she needed to get the milk out not just like that sucking motion because I was in the NICU and I was like oh my gosh she's sucking and getting it oh she's doing so well I actually got told that that's not how she's getting enough milk and it's not efficient for a baby so you want to see that chomping slash biting motion which I never knew so if I didn't know that and I just went home and they didn't tell me that I would have never known she was getting milk or if she was and you will hear them like swallow too so that's like another sign that they're getting the milk into them another thing i do want to mention about latching and feeding your baby is when you are feeding them you can like squeeze your boob to get them the milk that they need which i found out that if you are like this and closer to the nipple it doesn't really work for them and pulls your boob out but if you have a grip like this and you're back in the back pressing down, it works a lot better. And a lactation consultant told me that as well. I did find that I was getting her more milk. She wasn't as hungry as frequently. So that is another tip for you guys if you are looking for something like that. Another tip that I did learn is positioning your baby. So you wanna get that position that's right for you guys because everyone is so different. So I thought cradle position was like the only position you can feed your baby in, which I was so wrong. I don't know what I was thinking, but I literally thought that. So I found that laying down for Athena and I was really nice. And I know there's like different positions. You could like sit them up more and feed them, or you do use like a boppy pillow. Those are helpful. I use those in the hospital, but Athena gets so distracted by everything around her that when I feed her in a cradle position, she like tends to like look everywhere. But if I'm laying down, I'm like blocking her from her views. So she eats a lot better that way. A con to feeding them laying down is they get more tired so I have to like rub her back or rub her head or wake her up by like rubbing her hands and now she's a little bit better at not falling asleep but if I want her to fall asleep I like to like gently press down on her nose and she'll like fall asleep so easily so it's super cool I did find that I do feed her a lot before she falls asleep because she's used to that which is not the best case because I want her to fall asleep on her own, so I'm working on that, but that is a con that I have for feeding while laying down. But honestly, what you can take from all that is latching is gonna be hard, so don't feel bad if you can't get it on the first try. I feel like that was really difficult for me. Um, and positions, you'll find one that works for you and your baby. I feel like as I went on, and as I breastfed for a period of time, everything kind of just like came to me and you see what works as you go. So don't feel bad, it's hard, it's difficult, but it'll all come to you with time. I am strictly breastfeeding, so I feel like I have a lot of practice. <laughs> I don't think that I'm the most educated on it in the world and I'm not 
anywhere near like a lactation consultant or anyone that is licensed or anything but I do feel that it does come with time and like anybody that has breastfed for a long period of time knows this so there are moms that are way more educated on this and have way more kids and breastfed for way longer, but I just wanna give you guys that tips. I wanna be a source to you guys. So since we went over like latching and positions, I feel like those are the two main things that really like stump people and are difficult for people. So I kinda just wanna tell you my pros and cons and that'll give you more information on breastfeeding as well. The perks to strictly breastfeeding for me is I can breastfeed anywhere in the matter of like two seconds. So if we're in the car, we'll stop the car and I can like literally put her on and she's fed. I feel like that's such a perk to me because I don't know, it's hard like if you're gonna like make a bottle and they're like crying and like scattering everywhere and it just makes your life difficult. Honestly, any way you do feed your baby is amazing, but that's a pro to me. Another pro for me was like, I lost a lot of weight really fast. So I think everyone's really different with this, but I did hear that if you go past six months, you lose, you tend to lose a lot more weight. I did give birth and weigh like 210 pounds and I'm finally down to 148. So that's like super nice to hear and see. And um, your baby is getting like the best nutrition from your breastfeeding and you're also losing weight, which is super cool. So I found that to be a pro. I don't know who else wouldn't, but it was absolutely amazing for me and my journey of weight loss as well. Another pro is definitely the connection you feel with your baby. I feel such a great connection feeding my baby from me. I think it's so like crazy that that's even a thing. It's like a miracle that you can literally feed off you and your baby's getting all your vitamins, all your immunities and everything. So I think that's amazing and something super out of the ordinary and like, wow. Someone told me, I do not know if this is true. So like disclaimer right there, but I heard that when your baby is deficient in like a certain vitamin your body like makes it so that they get that vitamin i think that is unreal like that is such a pro another thing is breastfeeding is a lot cheaper than formula i found that to be so awesome and such a pro so you're not spending like all this money when you're just breastfeeding um but to all you moms who are formula feeding like good for you that's amazing and if you're feeding your baby like that's all that matters so we, i love you all i think you're all amazing and then another pro is it does get easier with time so don't worry if you're in these first couple months and you're struggling it will get easier and something that comes to you and is just a natural feeling so don't be afraid of anything that comes your way with breastfeeding you'll get through it another awesome pro to breastfeeding is i don't have to pump so my lactation consultant said that if you do need more milk supply you can pump or if you need some for when you're like going out or someone needs to watch your baby you can pump but i don't have to pump and i have milk coming in still and it's absolutely amazing so that's another pro that really stands out to me because i don't have to pump and then feed her and it's like this reoccurring cycle because at the beginning i was pumping and feeding her and trying to make a milk stash and it was just so hard and credit to all you moms who are being out there and feeding your baby like that was so hard for me i don't know why i think that was something that never got me sleep and it was a struggle so I think it's a pro to just consistently breastfeed for me. So I do have some cons for you guys. They're kind of funny, but like they are not the pros to breastfeeding. So I feel like my milk at the beginning was just like everywhere. I was wearing a shirt and I'd be feeding from this side and this whole side was dripping down and like, I was like, what is going on? What is my body doing? Like, I had no idea. So I feel like that is a con because there are like those pads that you can put in and stuff like that but i feel like they gave me a rash and then athena got thrush in her mouth which is like bacteria that gets in their mouth and makes it all like white and stuff and um i feel like that was just a con i don't know if it was from those pads or what being on too long i don't know so i think the milk getting everywhere is just a con that's just me but um, it does get better with time. Like I said, your milk supply will get more regulated and then your milk won't be like pouring out everywhere. So I haven't had a lot of those in a while. Another thing that does happen is like if I get engorged and like 
have too much milk where Athena has an eight for a little bit, it will get really big and like milk will start coming out everywhere if she has an eight in a while. So like, that's another con, but it's not that bad. It only happens every so often. The con that kills me, <laughs> but it's not like Athena knows what she's doing. She like bites with her lips and pulls. It's so weird and it hurts so bad. And now she has two teeth. So sometimes she doesn't know what she's doing, obviously, but she like bites down on my nipple and then like laughs. I'm like, uh, do you know what you're doing? Or <laughs> like, I'm like, ow. So sometimes I have to like pull out and relatch because it's just so, it hurts so bad. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like breastfeeding is absolutely amazing. And no matter how you're feeding your baby, it is amazing. So keep doing what you're doing. And I just wanted to give you some tips about breastfeeding and my pros and cons. So if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you Sunday. Bye!